Hi and welcome to another BrettWeiss.com Excel VBA screencast tutorial. In today's tutorial we're going to be talking about creating macros to run when different events in Excel take place. So an event in Excel is any number of things. It can be something like a workbook opening, a worksheet activating, a cell being selected, and there are a bunch of other events that we can also use to fire macros. If you're watching this video on YouTube and you'd like to see the code for this lesson and download this workbook and test out the macros yourself, click the link in the description box. It'll take you to the page on brettweiss.com where this tutorial exists and you can check out the code and download the workbook for free. Okay, so as a simple starting point, say I have a workbook that others are going to use and every time that workbook opens, I want the active worksheet to be a specific worksheet that I specify. In this case, I have two, two worksheets in this workbook, a, a worksheet named Start and a worksheet sheet named Not Start. I want to make it so that whenever this workbook is opened, the Start worksheet is the active worksheet. So to do that, we'll head over to the VBA editor. And under Microsoft Excel Objects in our open workbook, which is called workbookopen.xlsm, we're going to select the This Workbook object. And in the Object drop-down list, you'll notice that we can select Workbook. We're going to select that, and when we do, Excel automatically inserts a macro to run when we open the workbook. If we go over to this tab and click the drop-down, we can see all the different events within the workbook events that we can run. So we can run when a workbook is activated, we can run an event when there's a new sheet or a new chart, or before a double click, or when the workbook is activated. We want, to act, we want this macro to run when the workbook opens, so we'll leave it open, and we will write our code within this private sub workbook open command. And the code for this procedure is very simple, it's just this workbook dot worksheets. The name of the worksheet I want to activate, and activate. So if we head back to the worksheet, if I click on the not start worksheet, save it, close out of it, open the workbook back up. When I open the workbook, the start worksheet will always be activated. So another example of this, say I have a process in my job where I need to create a daily folder each day to store some different reports in or to store any information about the day that I might have. And when I open an Excel workbook, I want it to create the folder with today's dates as its name. Also, in this workbook, I want to create a new worksheet for each day that I open the workbook where I can store data or whatever my process may be. So I want to create a folder and a specified path and I want to create a worksheet and I want both of them to be named after today's date. So to do that I've created a couple of macros that will do that and I've stored the actual code for these macros in a normal module. This is how I usually go about workbook events. I'll store the code I want to run in a normal module and then we'll click in the this workbook module and we will call the procedures that we've created for module one at when the workbook opens. So we'll call new days, new day WS, and we'll call create new new day directory. And let's just go look at what these what this code is doing. What we're doing in the new day worksheet macro is we are checking to see if the worksheet that we want to create already exists. This date function is a VBA function that just tells us what day it is in Excel. So if I start this, if I start this macro, you can see the date function equals today's date. And I'm going to format it in a format that I like, and then I'm going to check to see if it exists. If it doesn't exist, if WS equals nothing, which means it doesn't exist, we're going to add the worksheets after the last worksheet in our current workbook and we're going to do some formatting and if the worksheet does exist we're going to go down to this part of the if statement and we'll display a message box saying a worksheet already exists for that name and it's the same type of thing with the create new day directory macro we're going to check if the folder in the path we specify already exists if it doesn't we're going to create the folder if it does we're going to do nothing. So the folder I want to create is going to be in on my C drive, on my desktop, in a, in a folder called reports. And I'll bring that folder up here. This is the folder where I'm going to create my new daily folder each time I open the workbook, if it's not already created. So let's just run this macro and see how it works. We're going to save the workbook, close out of it, 
we'll open the workbook back up and you'll see what it does we have a message box saying new day folder created and we've also created a new worksheet with today's date as the name of the worksheet so if I bring up that folder that I've saved it to on my desktop called reports we've created a new folder named after today's date in the reports folder so now those things have been created let's see what happens we'll save this exit out of it again now we'll open the workbook back up the folder and the worksheet have already been created so the next time we open the workbook nothing happens we get a message box saying a worksheet already exists for this day and we also get a message box saying the folder for today has already been created this is because if we try to create a folder with the same name or a worksheet with the same name we're gonna get an error message and we don't want to create it twice anyways so the main point is that we can get Excel to run different macros each time a worksheet or a workbook event takes place I want to thank you for watching this screencast on breadweeds.com. Have a great day.